What's up, guys? It is your favorite country cutie, Rainy K, Shaking in with Sheen Magazine. And I am here with Atlanta's hottest emergent R&B singer. It's T. Royal. Royal. Yeah, T. Royal, man. Y'all know what to do, man. East Atlanta R&B sensation. So, T, we're going to hop straight into it, okay? Okay. I heard your catalog. Yes. I enjoy your catalog, but I want to know, does the T stand for toxic or tender love? Man, you know... It stands for both, man. <laughs> toxic, tender love. You gotta have a lot of, I mean, have a little mm -hmm. toxicity, mm -hmm. you know, in the music and your relationship. So, you know, I think it's more interesting when you got some toxicness going on. Keep the thrill alive, add, huh? Add a little spice to it. Yeah. You don't want nothing boring. I feel that being born and raised from Atlanta, which is admirable, we have so many hot Atlanteans coming out. Atlanteans. Do you feel that the city has your back? Oh, definitely, man. I mean, what what city wouldn't have your back? You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I put I put the stamp on my back. I'm from Atlanta. I say it all the time. So yeah, <clears throat> I know they gotta love me. Gotcha. Yeah. So some notable R&B artists and groups that came out of Atlanta would be Escape, Usher, mm -hmm. TLC. When you're mentioned as an artist in they put you in a category of a new Atlanta R&B. What does that mean? And are you accept are you acceptive of that title? I mean, it, you so you had a specific title for me. Yeah. So when they mention T Royal, right. they say the new R&B okay. sound so or the new Atlanta R&B. That's the title. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> I accept it. I definitely accept it. It's um, it's it's very admirable you know on my end to see that i got a title you know of anything you know i want to i always wanted to be something growing up mm -hmm. you know so to even have a stamp no matter if it's new old right now you know is a blessing honestly for real for real i feel that so let's take it back to brown sugar okay brown sugar. when did you fall in love with r&b <laughs> <laughs> Man, I always was a, a, a love, a lover of music, mm -hmm. right? Um, I would say I'm gonna start here. Michael Jackson, as a young age, I mean, at a young age, was one of my favorite artists. Um, I don't know if anybody will put him in a category of R&B or pop. You know, once you get in titles, there's those titles. But when I listen to his album, I still hear R&B at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's really when I fell in love with singing and stuff like that but I, I never was a singer at all i actually um became a singer when i was 16. i didn't know i could sing until then so um yeah the singing i fell in love with singing at the age of 16 but um music probably at the age of like eight okay yeah i'm here for that so TikTok is known for turning artists viral Yes, you yes. have over 340,000 followers, yes. several videos that have millions of views, okay? Yeah. And you have been named by your fans as The Bachelor. Is this an accurate title? No. It's not. You know, The Bachelor, honestly, it need to be Bachelor in the Dark. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at you look, sneaking. Look, 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 nah, because I... The public, I, I've let that go. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want to be more like real true to myself because I feel like The Bachelor is just like one side of me. Gotcha. You know, it's, I'm looking for something more, you know, something that, you know, complements all my personalities, mm -hmm. you know, all my, my, my feelings and stuff like that. So The Bachelor is definitely not a current title, but it still lives in me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm just a little more mature too, like when I, the type of women I deal with, mm -hmm. how I deal with them, and you know stuff like that. You got to be careful with a lot of things, mm -hmm. or anything. But um, yeah, that's really, that's really how I feel. I, I think my new title is I Am. You know, yeah. I am everything that you think I am. Ring, ring, ring. Say by the bell. Disrespectful, right? This is you got say by the bell. Now you know what I believe about those. What? That's a sign. Like in my life, every time I say something and it it resonates with me, or mm -hmm. it's a sign from God, something I, I like to happen, like something to ring or something something loud, or mm -hmm. it just out of nowhere, or you get a notification right after you say something, you be like, ding, 
in my mind, you know, I take stuff like that deep. Like, okay, happens. that's a message. Yeah. I feel that. Oh, so yeah. piggybacking off your answer right here and going back to if T-World stood for Tender Love or Toxic, mm -hmm. I want to know, as a single listener, my own opinion, right. when I hear you sing your music, you sing about love and I feel it, but when you sing about lust, you put so much passion into your music. Right. <laughs> so I want to know, has T Warrior ever been in love? Yeah, I have, but I think, you know, me being honest, you probably could feel that more on the lust side because, you know, growing up, I, I kind of really didn't feel that much love. It was um, like finding love in women, like I had it, but it was kind of, broken at a certain point and mm -hmm. i ain't gonna say i'm a sensitive guy but i, I do got a lot of feeling mm -hmm. you know different from a lot of people nowadays in the generation so you know getting heartbroken at a young age and yeah. having different um heartbreaks when it comes to like death and stuff like that love i look at it real different yeah um yeah I, i've been in love before for sure but you know everything is like temporary until you know it's not yeah, I feel yeah. it. Yeah. So we can hop back into the music. The music. Coming into this year, you started it off with a seven city tour and you named it the Rebirth. Why did you name it then and how did that tour go? Well actually the um to clarify that that's not it wasn't my tour. Okay. But you know the name um but the name the rebirth did resonate with me because it was a, a point in time in my life where everything was changing. And by the way, that was my brother, Eric Bellinger tour. And you know, I, I greatly appreciate him for having me on the tour because I seen what it was like to have true fans and have, you know, um, good music. Yeah. You know, um, I seen how it was to pack out a show. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, it was a blessing, but the rebirth resonated to me though, because you know, truthfully, being honest, like it was a point in time where I was about to lose my house. Wow. You know, and uh, and I went basically leaving where I was at. Mm -hmm. I was going to go on tour and I knew coming back that I wouldn't have somewhere to stay. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's right now. Mm -hmm. But but I'm, I'm I mean, obviously, I'm good now. Mm -hmm. But at that point, I'm like, dang, like this the rebirth, you know? Mm -hmm a whole new spot uh, and other things is going on too. So, you know, like a whole new, a whole new feeling, a whole new like secludedness and certain things like, you know, it was just like a restart and getting back to where, you know, it all started for me and being able to utilize my career to do certain things for myself, my career, like having studio time and being personal, you know what I'm saying? Having the personal feelings and thoughts put out on my tracks mm -hmm. and, the, and, you know, in the crib and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, the Rebirth tour really resonated me, resonated with me because like, I just seen a lot. Yeah. It's like, in my, in my mind, it was a rebirth and coming back physically mm -hmm. and where I was gonna be at was a rebirth too, so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so on April 5th, you dropped your new single, Roller Coaster. Yeah. Tell us about that project. Uh, Roller Coaster, it was, it was real. That was, uh, that's another, you know, part of that rebirth that mm -hmm. I'm going through. You know, Roller Coaster was one of those songs that I did easily and fast because it was with my heart. Like every lyric, it was thought about off the top of my brain. It was a freestyle basically, but it was it, it was executed so well because it was real feelings. In my mind, I was talking about a relationship and, you know, seeing that relationship has, it up, has its ups and downs. Mm -hmm. I just started singing, it's a roller coaster. It's a roller coaster ride. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it was that feeling. And you know, roller coasters, it's, it's, it's a metaphor. They mm -hmm. have its ups and downs. And like, but you know, it's, it's a loop. But uh, yeah, roller coaster, man, that was, I love that song. That's what's up. So do you feel that roller coaster will chart like mine and your bed? I do. I feel like like all like all music, um, it takes time. It has to warm up, you know, it, it has to, sit in someone's soul for someone to just you know it's gonna mm -hmm. it's, yeah i know if it resonates with me it resonates with other people because i get messages all the time about how people like you know of course being an artist people gonna tell mm -hmm. you they like your music but certain messages you see you know they different you know what i'm saying so um i do believe roller coaster is going to do something because it's the start of something also mm -hmm. it started me getting more personal and personable with my music and 
you know, touching the people in a different way to show them, hey, I feel more than love, love or lust. You know, it's more than that, it's deeper, it's more feelings out here. Gotcha. Yeah. Awesome. And the sky's the limit with this one. I want you to share with me three artists you would pick to collaborate with this year. I want you to pick one that's a coming up artist. I want you to pick an artist that's on the same level with you. And then I want you to pick a superstar mega artist. Who are you choosing? Hmm. Superstar mega artist. I go with uh, SZA. Okay. Yeah, we gotta match each other fly. Okay. Kind of that. Um, somebody on my level. Um, I don't know. That might have been. On my level. Probably gotta be like some young and turnt. Um, probably like FBL Manny or something. Okay. You know He's hard here, rapper. Okay, and up and coming. Up There's and a coming. lot of great up and coming artists. Who do you mm -hmm. favor and who would you collab with? I like this girl named Baby Osama. Okay. She's so hard, for real. Um, that's really it. That's amazing. Yeah. So do you have any final remarks, T-Royal? Like, what would you like to share with our viewers and our subscribers that we can look for from you for the rest of 2024? Man, just look for me from, you know, putting out more music and more music with feeling, like I said, and, you know, more tours and more artist collaborations and, you know, more of me just being me, more of y'all seeing me more and who I am. Yeah, look out for that. Well, we are super excited to see what T-Roya has to bring for us for the remaining of the year. It's your favorite country cutie, Rainy K, checking in with Sheen Magazine. It's T-Royal. T-Royal, yeah.